What's up everybody? Matt Nuzzo and James Jenkins hanging out here. We're, today we're going to talk about the difference between a low aspect, mid aspect, and high aspect foils. They're really confusing to figure out which one's right for you. All brands have a different style of how they work, what's best, what's be not best. Like, There's just so much information out there, it's kind of an overload. So here's some real basics over overviews. Low aspect, it's going to be narrower span, shorter cord. Mid aspect, little more span skinnier cord high aspect is going to be the widest these three foils 1080 1225 1600 have similar amounts of lift and with that similar amount of lift you're just having a different feel for all of them low aspect is great for beginning and james we're using those low aspect foils yeah so with the low aspect foils when i'm teaching someone um you know a beginner who wants to go a little bit slower um, i'm putting them on these low aspect foils so what they do with that you know shorter span um, they're they're able to foil at slower speed so they've got a slow stall speed so when you're learning you don't want to be going fast um, so that's why they're great for that additionally at, at my level when i want to learn a new trick behind the boat i'm going to choose a smaller size of the low aspects because they are really stable um, they're great for learning airs but ultimately for beginners slow stall speeds nice and stable low aspects are the one really comfortable you want to get a little more performance a lot of people are going to this mid aspect range the mid aspect is going to be having more glide, the more span you have, the more glide you're gonna have, okay? So, James, what are you using the mid-aspect for? Yeah, the mid-aspect line is, at this point, my go-to for surf foiling, um, wing foiling on certain days. It just has a nice blend of pump ability while also having great surf ability and they carve really well, um, while still having, you know, with slightly more span than the low aspects, you're able to pump well and connect waves. Um, so it's kind of a nice middle ground between the low aspects and the high aspects. And then when we move over here into the HAs, the high aspect, this is gonna be your highest performance with the max amount of glide, right? With that real wide span, you're gonna get a lot of glide. The wider the span and the narrower the cord, you're gonna have significantly more glide, but you're also gonna increase the stall speed. Some foils like this new Armstrong HA, they've been able to imp really improve that low end stall speed. It's not your first foil, but it makes it a lot more accessible for people. But generally speaking, this is going to be for pumping, like you want to connect waves like crazy, this thing's going to pump and glide. Anytime you're increasing that span, you're going to decrease the turning. So it's not going to turn quite as well as a, as a mid aspect, but it is still going to turn depending on the brand you're going. So James, where are you using that high aspect? Yeah, so like you said, with the greater high aspect, that greater wingspan, that efficiency is going to bring a lot more pump ability. So when the waves are small, I want to get up on a wave and stay up on foil for a long time, connecting different lumps. That's when I'm going to choose the high aspect. Or if I'm riding behind a wake boat and want to pump way out to the 10th, 11th, 12th wave, high aspect's also a great choice for that. So really, you know, that high aspect wide span allows for really efficient speed. They're able to go really fast. Um, you just need some speed to maintain that foil. It will stall out at, you know, a speed faster than the low aspects, but yeah, for pumping, connecting waves, HA is where to go. Right on. If you want more reviews, want more information about foiling, give us a call at the shop, 252-987-6000, realwatersports.com.